Hi everyone, it's teacher Vivian and I want to welcome you back to the Lawrence at Home for story time. Before we get started with today's story about Alice Ball, I want to remind you to please like and subscribe to the Lawrence at Home so you can get more updates on when we do more story times and other cool science stuff. So let's get started about learning about Alice Ball, who is an awesome young scientist. Okay, today we'll be learning about Alice Ball, who is a young woman with a life-saving discovery. I'm really curious to find out what her discovery was. Let's find out. Alice was born in Seattle, Washington in 1892. In 1910, she graduated from high school and she earned some graduate degrees in college in both Washington and in Hawaii. That's two different places. And one of the things that she studied was chemistry. You can see that on the right right here. Hmm, have you ever heard of the word chemistry before? Hmm. Well, I can tell you that it's a type of science that we study. We study what makes up the stuff in the world. And when we mix stuff together, what happens? Things like that. At the University of Hawaii, she became the first African-American and very first woman to graduate with a master's degree in chemistry. Whoa, that is a really amazing accomplishment. And she did it at such a young, a young age. Then the school wanted her back as a teacher. And at only 23 years old, Alice was the university's first female chemistry instructor. Wow, how cool is that, that she was able to study these different sciences, and then she was able to share her knowledge as a teacher too. I think that's really awesome. I think teachers are really important because they help us to learn. And through her research, she was able to find a treatment for leprosy, which is a type of sickness. And she was able to help people who are sick and the method was used for over 30 years. And actually, they named it after her, and it was called the ball method. And if you look over here on the right, I've put a picture of the tree that she used to get the ingredients she needed to make the medicine for the treatment. Many people who were sick with leprosy couldn't even see their families. Because of Alice's discovery, many people could be healthy enough to be reunited with the people that they loved. That is amazing. Not only were people able to get healthier, they were able to be with their family and friends again. And that's really important to us, isn't it? Sadly, Alice passed away at 24 years old during a teaching accident. And the president of her college did a very bad thing. And he stole her research, saying that he did it. Ugh. I don't know how that makes you feel that the president took her research and said that he did it. I think that's not right because he's lying and that's kind of like cheating. And it kind of reminds me of a previous story time that we've had where we learned about Rosalind Franklin, where Watson and Crick took her picture and said that they found out the structure of DNA. This is kind of a similar story, isn't it? Later on, she finally got credit she deserved in a research paper after she passed away. And though there are many awards and honors in her name, she never got the recognition for the amazing work that she deserved. On the right here, you can see there's this plaque right here for a tree, the tree that helped her to get the chemicals she needed in order to have the ingredients to make the leprosy medication. And they talk about how Alice A. Ball, an African-American um, College of Hawaii instructor, um, research chemist, and the first woman to receive a master's degree from the College of Hawaii, um, extracted the oil's active ingredient in the 1910s. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I think as we finish the story, I think a lot about how I felt when we learned about Rosalind Franklin, who also had something similar to happen to her. It's really wrong to steal someone's research. We can instead just work together and give people the credit they deserve for the hard work that they do. So scientists, I want you to remember that when we work together, we gotta make sure that we're being kind and that we're not cheating and stealing other people's information and their hard work too. Thank you so much for joining me on this story time. I feel so inspired by Alice Ball because she got so much done at such a young age. And I'm in college right now and I'm gonna finish college soon. And I hope that I can do really awesome, cool science things like her and impact the world and help people reunite with their families too. Thank you so much for joining me on story time. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Lawrence at Home so you can get more updates on things like story time and other science things that we do. I'm teacher Vivian and I'm signing off. See you next time, everyone. Thank you.